Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sully Pones, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. In the previous episode, we obtained 6 heart pieces in both the quiver upgrades in this game, so today, we are going to be making our way to Romani Ranch to be reunited with our beloved horse Epona, and we're also going to do a couple side quests while we're there, since we're going to have to go there either way, so might as well knock them both out while we're there. So before we begin, if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. Let's try to get this video to over 1,000 likes. I think that would be incredibly awesome. So, as you can see, I'm making my way here towards East Clock Town just because I want to obtain this easy 100 rupees. We're going to need it in order to buy a powder keg. Powder kegs cost 50 rupees in this game. And, you know, I'm the kind of guy who, when I deposit rupees in the bank, I don't want to take them out. So, uh, the easiest way to go about obtaining easy rupees is just doing this every day. I mean, you can always come back to it. It's the easiest 100 rupees you could get. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's literally like like two seconds it, it takes you like two seconds to get and you, whatever money you have left over you can always deposit it in the bank but like I said we're gonna be getting a powder keg because like I said in the previous episode uh, we have the license to buy them with Gorons and you know the cool thing is there is a Goron here in Clock Town, a local store, the local bomb shop actually, that sells powder kegs. So one thing that I actually forgot to show off while I was here last time was this really, really cool GameCube. Uh, it's, it's a GameCube. I saw it, but for some reason, like when I was looking at it while I was recording, I didn't say anything about it for some reason. And a lot of you guys pointed it out in the comments, and I was, I was like, why didn't I say anything? I totally thought I did, but I didn't. But as you can see, there's a GameCube right there. I'm not really sure what it's used for. It probably is used to create bombs or something like that I really don't know but uh, it's the GameCube you can see the four controller slots the two memory card slots and a uh, Game Boy Advance adapter at the bottom so it's pretty cool there's a couple other Nintendo related things here which I'm not really sure of uh, but uh, right now what we want to do is we want to talk to this guy hey what's up Goron wake up brother oh of all places yes I want a powder keg they're gonna cost 50 rupees so make sure you have 50 rupees before you come inside here they're extremely powerful like you said I mean we witnessed it firsthand that thing blew up a huge ginormous rock like three times the size of us in front of the Goron racetrack so one can only imagine how much damage this powder keg could do uh, the only thing is they're really really pricey I'm not really sure exactly what else we'd use powder kegs for but uh, whenever the time comes and we need my other powder kegs, I guess we'll find out together. Uh, and also, another thing, because I know some of you guys are going to make a comment about it and why I didn't, like, say anything about this, but in Goron Village, uh, in the Baby Goron's house, or in the Baby Goron's room, you'll actually see a stone Wiimote. And, you know, I saw that as well, but I didn't say anything about it for some reason. But, uh, I guess at the end of the Let's Play, I'll make a video showing off, like, all the cool Nintendo- Oh my god! He just ran. He's like, nope, I am not having none of that. He just bolted from here. But watch, watch, watch. I, okay, I don't understand this guy's story. So he knows the moon's gonna fall, or maybe not. But why would you spend three days trying to break a rock to, to Romani Ranch when people don't want to go in or out? It doesn't really make any sense to me. Like, if you lived here in Romani Ranch, you really wouldn't want to leave. Because you have everything. You have a chicken house. You have a dog racetrack. You have some cows. You have uh, a horse. I mean, if you really want to teach some horse, you can have Epona, but I'd probably kill everybody before that happens. I really would. Isn't it that your horse? Yes, it is. Thanks to you and the smelly skull kid for stealing it from me. Uh, but yeah, now that we, uh, we are here, we're going to go ahead and talk to Romani. Uh, and like I was saying before, I was interrupted by the big fat dude. I'm going to make a video showing off all the cool Nintendo related things uh, in this game. Uh, and I know in Ocarina of Time, they had a Skyward Sword like poster kind of hinting at Skyward Sword and in the Link Between Worlds they had uh, a Majora's Mask like put on the wall uh, like a poster or something. It wasn't a poster but it was an actual mask which was really freaking awesome and in this game I don't think anybody's found anything hinting towards the new Zelda game so I guess if there is I will probably make sure I find out what it is and where it's at and I'll definitely bring you guys a video showing it off Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? My name is Sully. Yes, it's Sully. That's a nice name, but how about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. Why? Why does she give me grass? Is she referring to the ranch or to herself in third person? I don't know. See, you're wearing green clothes and you patter about when you walk. So Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. What? What's? Wait, whoa, whoa. What's coming tonight? I have no idea what you're talking about, little girl. She's scaring me. They, 
They come at night every year when the carnival approaches. Who are they? Oh my gosh, is that a UFO or is that a sun? I couldn't tell you. <gasps> what is that? They come riding in bright shining balls. A whole lot of them come down. Oh my gosh, and then they come to the barn. They abduct our cows because they can't get milk from where they live. They have nothing but rocks, space rocks. They don't have like nice, delicious meat like we have. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting as a new for a new assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Since I'm a boy, I why can't you say since you are a boy? Okay, that yeah, okay. Great, now that's the spirit grasshopper. Okay then, I'm going straight into my strategy. They appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for the barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can get so they can't get in. You got that and you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take more than two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Are you ready? Yes I am. I am ready, Freddy. Okay. Uh, good thing this minigame doesn't require you to have arrows, otherwise I would be screwed because I don't have any. Uh, can I hit it from here? There we go, we hit it. And if you look at the map, you'll actually be able to see them all, the location of all these balloons. Um, this was something, honestly, as a kid, I always would be scared to play. Oh gosh, I'm going way too fast. Ah! Epona! You stupid horse! Okay. Why is it run? Oh my god. You need to calm down, Epona. There we go. Man, that only took me like 5 million seconds. Go faster! Okay, there we go. I'm not used to using the horse in this game at all. Oh god. Okay. Can we do under a minute? Probably not. But you know what? The record is 2 minutes, so... That's all we need to do is beat it under 2 minutes. I could easily beat it under a minute if I like practiced it one time prior to this, because I don't know how to function the horse in this game. Okay, there we go. That is confusing. Trying to use gyro controls and riding a horse at the same time can be a little bit tricky. 102, that's great. You two work perfectly together. I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two keep getting along and go practice some more. So this is it where we learn, uh, where we learn the song of Epona. It's Epona's song! A melody signifying the bond you share with Epona. Play it and your beloved horse will come running. Stand by Epona's side and press A to climb on her back. To get off, slow it to stop and press A. Press A while you're riding her to gently tap her with your hand so she knows to go faster. With enough speed you can even jump over fences. When your arrows hit these, they burst into nothing. But the real ones will keep popping up. If they get into the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep fending them off until then. Did you get that? Yes, I did. The operation starts tonight at 2. I'll be waiting at the barn. Don't be late. Alright, so we have a date with Romani herself to fend off some evil, uh, extraterrestrials. What are they called? ETs? They're not ETs, they're just aliens. We really don't know. An adorable yet quirky little girl from Romani Ranch. She lives there with her sister, Cremia. Hey, I knew she started with like a C. Alright. So, right now, what we're going to do... Oh, we could set alarms in the bomber's notebook? That's so stupid. Why would I forget something important like that? Okay. I need some arrows, first and foremost. And now, that we obtained some of these arrows, uh, let me actually go ahead and equip them. Over here, where the keg was at, and then we're gonna go ahead... Oh. Jesus. I tried playing it really fast, and I, I was failing at it, but we're going to play the song of double time because we need a forward time to 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, that's exactly when they come. And if I'm correct, we'll see Romani walking out of the barn. Yeah, there she is. She's walking out of her house towards the barn, 
And this is where things get cray cray. So you can honestly use Epona to do this or you could just use the bunny hood. It's better off using the bunny hood just because they don't really appear uh, spaced apart. They're actually really close to one another. So it's better off, you know, doing it or, or being in just one confined area. The idea is just to get them to not approach the barn and it's really easy i don't know why as a kid i always hated doing it but i did it's just maybe the the sense of uh i don't know i, I guess i panicked a lot just because i knew that you know oh what if they what if they come to the barn like i'm, I'm gonna die i'm i'm gonna lose i don't want this happening the cows are gonna die no more hamburgers for me ah all right is it is oh it's time it's 2 30 here they come this is the part where I would beat the crap out of my sister to get her to wake up just so she could see this. Alright, what's, what's up, brothers? What's up, alien Gucci's? Alright. So, I mean, like she said, you hit them and they don't actually die. I mean, at first they do disappear for a little while, but then they start respawning. And then if you ever need arrows, you could always run to where the part you killed them at. And then you could just pick up the arrows that they drop, which is pretty convenient. Um, as you'll see later on, uh, towards the night, they'll actually start respawning almost instantly after you kill them. Like she said, they always keep popping back up. It's like they really, really want some cows. And the cool thing is the dog here actually helps us out a lot. Once he sees them approaching, he'll run and he'll start barking towards that direction. Like trying to indicate to you like, hey, get your stuff together, man. There are some aliens approaching this barn and they are about to kill some people. Um, okay, let me just let me go in a row like this. Like that. Alright, here we go. Alright. Okay. Can I hit them all? Probably not. Let me go this way. I see one coming towards the barn really quickly. Oh god. Okay. Don't let him get too close to the house. Nor too close to the barn. Oh, hey, what are you doing, Billy? Billy, you gonna die, Billy? Oh gosh, someone's coming. He's right there. What's up, brother? What's up, brother from another mother? Okay, let's go back over here. The dog's barking this way. Whew. This is a little hectic for me. Why does a boy have to do all these crazy things? I'm surprised Link is not traumatized by any of these experiences. Like, man, I would do the Shadow Temple once and I would probably want to die. I would have nightmares for life. That Shadow Temple, just playing it alone, gives me nightmares. Okay, uh, let's go back here. Uh, I think they leave at first sunlight, which is five in this game. It's like the moment the sun starts shining. It'd be easier if time wasn't slowed down, but I think they move faster if time isn't slowed down. Oh, that arrow is not going to reach. All right, I'm gonna head back here. Oh, oh God, there we go. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. There we go. No! It's a good thing we got the quiver upgrade. Like, at this point right now, I would have no arrows. Because we'd only have 30. But since we have the quiver upgrade, we have 50 arrows, which pretty much allow us to go... Like, allow us to do this without having to worry about obtaining more arrows. But we have, like, the last 30 minutes of this. So, it's like the final stretch right now. And then we'll be done. So far, they haven't really, like, gotten too close. Like, there's a danger zone, I guess, of getting close, and they, they haven't actually even approached any of it. They've, they've kept their distance. Every time they come close, I always manage to shoot them. The ones in the back are just, like, always really, really far back, so I don't think I've actually killed them once. For some reason, they're just, like, roaming the barn, looking for other things, maybe kidnapping dogs or something. I have no idea. It's just, like, the first row of them that you want to like keep an eye out for okay push them back and i think we have less than five seconds to go i'm gonna kill him get one last kill in and we will be golden maybe one more kill yes one last oh wait we have to wait till six o'clock or six thirty or five thirty i have no idea honestly maybe six maybe dawn of the first or second day or third day what would be this would be the second day Okay, there we go. Oh man, I'm almost out of arrows. 
I'm almost out of arrows. Hey, it worked. It was 5.30. I was actually right. Not even bad. Whew, we fended off those evil aliens. While Romani hid, protecting her cows. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you. The cows are giving thanks, too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do it here on the ranch. And we got some milk. I think we actually, at this point in the game, have like five or four bottles. And there's like seven in the game, but we have four. So we pretty much have like all the bottles that we can currently obtain, which is awesome. Let me take a look. I really don't remember. I think we have like four or three or something. We'll find out though. We have four. Four bottles. How awesome is that? And we could just organize our stuff. Put them like there. Maybe put the bombs over here. Put the arrows up there. Put the Deku nuts next to the bombs, like just in the order of in the or, in the way we got them, pretty much. And I, oh no, put that there, and then put that there. Okay, we're golden. Uh, so now, in order to do this upcoming quest, you actually have to do this quest first. The quest that we just did, you have to do this one in order to do the next one, which is also one uh, that involves us staying here on the ranch. So. We're going to go ahead and fast forward time to, I believe, 6 o'clock p.m. on the second day, which is the day that we're on right now. It's dawn of the second day, so we got to fast forward time twice. If you click R, it'll actually go just, it will skip a full day, essentially. So you don't want to click R. Uh, what you want to do is you want to actually use the circle pad to move to the exact hour in the day that you want it to be. Um, Romani has a little sister, or an older sister named Cremia, like she said. And, uh, like, okay, the way I see it, I, I could be wrong, but correct me if I am. The way I see it is, the only way we could do this quest is after saving the cows. Because if the cows get abducted, then there isn't any milk that needs to be delivered. And as you can see, she is going to be ready to deliver some milk. Which we will f hopefully be able to see her, uh, I think. Yeah, there she is! What's up, girlfriend? Was Gucci. Yo, we're about to deliver some milk. Oh, good evening. I'm going into town to deliver milk. Yes, I would love a ride. So my theory, all right, is the aliens come and abduct the cows. And if they don't abduct the cows, then they have milk that can be delivered. If they do abduct the cows, this wasn't, it wouldn't happen. Because, you know, I actually tried doing this without doing the uh, alien abduction mission. And uh, this wasn't available to me. Aw, oh, dang, that's sad. Her her father died. So now she has to, like, be the parent of the house. Ah, and now she will never believe her sister about the ghost stories. Just because now she knows that they have milk. And that the ghost didn't actually steal it. But well, how could she just be so lightly like, hey, you want to ride into town? I don't know who you are, but let me give you a ride. And I'll tell you all about my life story and my family. She actually looks really good in this game. Like, I'm actually really surprised. What? The road? Boy, get your... What? Did you call me boy? Boy, get your bow ready. How disrespectful is that, man? I oughta slap you in the face with a bow. Alright, here we go. This is the final quest of this episode, and uh, the second quest of this... This episode, I guess you could say. <laughs> and it's gonna involve us using another bow, or our bow, I guess, again. To fend off some evil... Boys. First, Milk Road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through the ugly country? Yes, because we have thieves. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind us, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Yes, I do understand. All right. Thanks, I'm relying on you. So uh, this quest actually gives us a mask, and it's a very, very good mask to have, so make sure you try to obtain it. Uh, these guys are actually really easy. A good thing we have like an infinity, infinity amount of arrows, an endless amount, I should say, so we can just shoot them down constantly. That's what you get for being thieves. Y'all should be locked up. 
trying to steal some milk from a helpless girl in the middle of the night. Just weird, man. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that clouds, though. This game looks gorgeous. The clouds especially, the skies, like how it changes every day. It always looks so amazing in this game. And Nintendo did an amazing job with this. And like, we are almost there. Oh god. They're, they're, getting, they're getting a little too close. A little dangerously close. I want to look at the posters, but I can't. It was like, uh, bill oh gosh. Those billboards. Okay, there we go. We did it. We did it. We made it safe and sound. We delivered this milk in one piece. Whew, not even bad. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you, you were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. And I got the Romani mask! Not even bad. With every good deed, a child takes one step closer to adulthood. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you being as an adult. Ooh, I'm a big boy. With my big boy pants and my big boy mask. Drinking some uh, some big boy milk at the milk bar, you know, because that's that's what you do when you go to bars. You, you drink milk. You take shots of milk and whatnot. And I don't really know, man. I really don't know. But the cool thing is, they start off they start us off like right here in front of Clock Town, and the moment you enter, you're back here in East Clock Town, which is pretty awesome. So that will conclude today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Thank you guys all so much for watching. In the next episode, I will have all the rest of these rubies deposited, and we will start off uh, on dawn of the first day. So thank you guys, like I again said, for watching. So thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.